Welcome back to today's video. In today's video lesson, I'll be teaching about stoichiometry, where I'll be giving us different practice problems that will enable us to understand this concept better. First thing first, talking about stoichiometry, it has to do with the concept of mole. Okay, it has to do with the concept of mole. And this mole basically is denoted with a symbol and it is N. And N signifies number of mole. N signifies number of moles. Now, number of moles has different formulas, basically when solving problems on stoichiometry. Now, in today's lesson, I'll be giving us different formulas for number of moles and solving different questions on this aspect. First thing first, number of moles, which is N, is given by a formula and it is mass over molar mass. Okay, it is mass over molar mass. Now, same number of moles is given by a formula which is concentration concentration times volume in this context the volume is in cm cube so we are to divide by 1000 okay concentration times volume over 1000 same formula for number of moles now moving further same number of moles can be given by a formula which is p v over ROT, whereby P here talks about pressure, V talks about volume, R talks about the molar gas constant, and T basically is temperature in Kelvin scale. Now, moving further, same number of moles is given by a formula which is number of atoms, number of atoms over Avogadro's constant which is 6.02 times 10 raised power of 23 okay a number of atoms for calculation purpose can also be called number of particles if you don't call it number of particles it can also also be called number of molecules now, lastly, same number of moles is given by a formula which is volume at STP over 22.4 dm cube. Volume at STP. Now, in this context, this volume here is going to be in dm cube. Okay? It's going to be in dm cube. But there are some other cases whereby you can have number of moles at STP to be volume in cm cube over 22,400 cm cube. So it depends on how the question comes. If the volume given was in cm cube, so we use this constant. If the volume given is in dm cube, so we use 22.4 dm cube. So it's just conversion. So, to solve practice problems on stoichiometry, these are the basic formulas that must be noted. Now, let's quickly move over to fir the first question that will enable us to understand this concept better. Now, let's quickly solve this question. The question says, how many moles of hydrogen gas are in 27 grams of hydrogen? First thing first, they are asking us to determine number of moles. And in this question, we were given the mass, which is 27 grams. And also, they gave us the element. They say, how many moles of hydrogen gas? So basically, we need the molar mass because mass is already already given the question so which formula here is best to be used you can see that mass is given and the formula that has mass here is this first formula which is number of moles which is mass over molar mass so we quickly bring this down 
So number of moles becomes mass over molar mass. Now, they said hydrogen gas. And we already know that hydrogen is an element that is diatomic. What do I mean? This is hydrogen, but this is the atomic state of hydrogen. But if hydrogen is written as this, it will now be called hydrogen molecule. This is hydrogen molecule. But if it's just hydrogen, basically it will be called hydrogen atom. Okay? It will be called hydrogen atom. Now they said hydrogen gas. So hydrogen exists in the diatomic state. Okay? Hydrogen is diatomic. That's two atoms forming a molecule of hydrogen. Now, basically, what is the atomic mass of hydrogen? Atomic mass of hydrogen is one. Okay, this is the atomic mass. So, they are asking us to get number of moles. So, we simply say, number of moles will now be equal to the mass, which is 27 grams over the molar mass. Now, now we know it's already, the atomic mass is one. So, it's two hydrogen. So, it becomes one times two, okay? One times two basically gives us two grams per moles as the molar mass. Sorry, yes, as the molar mass. So the molar mass becomes two grams per mole. So when we hit our calculator, it becomes 13.4, okay? Grams cancels grams moles, okay? Of hydrogen gas so the number of moles present 27 grams of hydrogen is 13.4 moles of hydrogen gas now let's quickly move over to another question now let's quickly move over to the next question the question says how many carbon atoms are in 0 0.0022 grams of carbon 4 oxide now in this question they are asking us to get carbon atoms which is number of atoms so basically the formula we should be thinking is this formula but they said how many how many carbon atoms are in this mass of carbon dioxide so it means that carbon is inside carbon dioxide the mass of carbon is inside carbon dioxide so first thing first we need to extract the mass of carbon from this compound how do we do that? Very easy. We simply say, okay, solution. Mass of carbon in the compound is equal to the molar mass of carbon over the molar mass of the overall compound. We are extracting the mass from times the mass of the compound which is co2 so let's impute parameters first let's look for the molar mass of this compound it becomes for co2 the atomic mass of carbon is 12 and the atomic mass of oxygen is 16 so basically 16 times 2 is going to give us 44 grams per moles so we simply say the mass of carbon will not be equal to the molar mass of carbon, which is 12, 12 over 44 grams per mole times this. Okay, the mass of CO2, which is 0 0.0022 grams. So when we hit this in our calculator, we get the mass of carbon to be 0 0.0006 grams of carbon. So it means that this mass is present in this compound. So this is the mass of carbon in this compound. Now the question is now asking us how many carbon atoms are there in this mass of CO2? So it means that we've gotten the mass of carbon carbon from this compound so let's determine the number of atoms now we said 
Number of Moses mass over molar mass. Same number of moles given as number of atoms over Avogadro's constant. So it means that both formulas can be equated together because number of moles is this and same number of moles is this. So it means we can equate both formulas together. So it becomes the number of moles, which is mass over molar mass. So mass over molar mass is equal to number of atoms over Avogadro's constant. So in this question we are looking we are looking for the number of atoms. So basically we make number of atoms subject of formula. Okay, we make number of atoms subject of formula. So when we do this we get mass times 6.02 times 23 over the molar mass. So number of atoms will not be equal to the mass times 6.02 times 10 power of 23 over the molar mass number of atoms will not be equal to the mass now of carbon because we are trying to determine the number of atoms of carbon so we are using the mass of carbon so what is the mass of carbon 0 0.0006 times 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 over the molar mass which is 12 for carbon so number of atoms of carbon becomes 3.01 times 10 raised power of 90 atoms of carbon. So basically, this is the number of atoms of carbon present in 0 0.0022 grams of carbon for oxide. Now let's quickly move over to the next question. Quickly move over to the last question for the day. Now, this question says, how many grams of copper are there in 2.55 moles of copper? So, in this question, they are asking us to get grams, which is mass. And they gave us number of moles of copper. So, which of the formula is best to be used? The first, because mass is is what they're asking us to get and they've given us number of moles and the compound sorry the element is given to get the atomic mass basically the molar mass so basically we just say um bringing the formula down number of moles becomes mass over molar mass and the question is asking us to get mass so we'll make it subject of formula so mass become number of moles times molar mass so what is the number of moles? The number of moles is 2.55 moles times the molar mass. Basically, the atomic mass of molar of, of copper or copper is 64 grams per mole. So it becomes 64 grams per mole, whereby the mass of copper will not be equal to grams, sorry not be equal to moles cancels moles so it become 162 grams of copper so this is how to solve problems on structure we have other aspects which i'll be creating videos on so do well to hit the subscribe button on this channel and also share this video with your friends thanks for watching